Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack. Well, as you can see, I'm not in my little shack anymore. Uh, this used to be my wife's sewing room, uh, but she decided to let me use it as a shack and has moved her sewing machines to where my little shack in the corner used to be. Uh, there were some changes I had to make, such as getting longer jumper cables and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a video showing what I did and how I did it. Uh, there'll be links to all the extra stuff I had to purchase to get all my new shack. Uh, and there will be links to all the extra stuff I had to purchase to get my new shack on the air. Now, in this video, we're going to take a look at using the RT Systems programming software and the repeater book database to program your rigs. Uh, I'll be using my trusty Kenwood THD74 for this demo. However, the same steps can be used on any radio that RT System supports, which, to be honest, is most of them. Now, there are a few videos like this on YouTube, but uh, I not trying to polish my own apple, but I'm going to include a few tips and tricks that I've learned through trial and error over the last couple decades of programming my HTs and uh, FT991A uh, using uh, RT systems. Uh, let's head over to the computer and uh, get this demo done. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got your radio backed up. In case something happens, uh, then you want to make sure that you're not going to be totally screwed, right? So, I'm going to... Uh, so, uh, I've already done that. I've already backed my radio up. Everything is there. And I'm going to go up to File, External Data. Now, you'll see you have the Radio Reference repeater book, which is the one we're going to be using, RF finder, and frequency list. Radio reference and RF finder databases are both accessible if you've got a subscription with them. Uh, repeater book is free. So we're going to use that. We're going to click on repeater book. I'm going to enter my zip code. I'm going to select 50 mile radius and the reason I'm using 50 mile radius for a handheld is that uh, I do a lot of moseying about in my area. Uh, so if I go up to Columbus, I've got the Columbus repeaters. If I go to Dayton, I've got the Dayton repeaters and so on. Uh, I want to select uh, 70 and 2 meters. 70 centimeters is the 440 band. And uh, by the way, if you're only going to use, or if you're using a mobile or a base station, 50 miles is probably a good starting point. Adjust up and down from there for your own use. And uh, if you're only using your HT for moseying around town and not doing a whole lot more than that, uh, maybe 10 to 20 miles might be more appropriate. Uh, your mileage may vary. So I'm going to go OK. And you'll see a new tab come up here. These are all of the 2 meter and uh, 440 meter uh, or 70 centimeter band uh, repeaters within 50 miles of my zip code. So you can see we're going real good. Now you want to come down here. You want to select here. You want to select a call sign. You could also go for sort it by city, whatever, uh, but set, select call sign. Under comment, you see up here, here's my comments. I've got all the cities listed. So uh, I do want to select city there. Now we can come down here, we can go to selected bands, and you'll notice modes as well. Two meter. 70 centimeter, 
I do not have DMR on this radio, so I will deselect that. I do have D star on this repeater. I do not have P25 on this repeater. And I don't have Yesu uh, System Fusion. So we'll deselect that. If I was using this for uh, a rig that did have DMR, I would select it. Uh, if I was using this on my FT991A, uh, which does have System Fusion on it, I would select that. So we're good there. And you can see it is now listing. That's what it's going to go by. Next, we want to come up here, click in this area, and you can see that I have just sorted by city. And if you wanted to sort it the other way, you can click it again. And I start off with Xenia in Wilmington and go that route. Uh, so this way, uh, once you upload this, once you create the file, by the way, when this first comes up, this is not an uploadable file. So you need to create an uploaded, uploadable file. So that's right here. And we're going to do that. It's going to take just a little bit. And I'm going to upload this to the radio. You do this by clicking on communications and clicking send data to radio. Now I'm going to get a little pop-up here, and it's going to give me step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, this happens to be the step-by-step -step instructions for the THD-74. Uh, whatever radio you're using, you're going to get a set of instructions. Just follow these instructions step-by-step, -step, and you're going to be okay. Uh, I've inserted the USB cable into the USB jack, and it is a standard a USB cable like you might use to charge up uh, your phone or your tablet or you know it's it's one of the older ones but uh, it's you probably have a dozen of them in your junk door. Uh, turn the radio on so yes my radio is on and I'm going to click OK to start transferring the data. Uh, I am going to be uh, fast forwarding through this and uh, playing a little music for you so I hope you enjoy the music as I click OK. And the radio is now programmed. And that's my take on using the repeater book database with the RT system programming software. I hope you found it useful. Now, standard disclaimer, I am not sponsored by nor do I receive any monetary compensation from RT systems. I am, however, a fan and find their software easy to use and reliable and more than worth every penny. Thanks for dropping by my new shack. Uh, if you found this presentation interesting, informative, or just entertaining, please give me a like. Please like me. Please. By popping that thumbs up icon. Please share. Sharing is good this with your friends and colleagues in the ham radio community, especially on social media. Please leave a comment. Comments? Questions? About your experiences with RT systems. And finally, please consider subscribing. Subscribe to my channel to follow our inspirational... <laughs> to this channel. If you haven't watched it already, here's another video about a neat trick you can do with multiple radios and RT system software. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. I'm always at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.